Hello guys, today I want to showcase you one kind of small but important feature that was released in one of the latest Livewire 3 versions. Here's a tweet by Caleb, it's about Wire Confirm. And what's the big deal about it? Because historically in Livewire 3 and in Livewire 2, there was no convenient way to do this. So for example, we have CRUD of Livewire, which is taken in this case from our Livewire kit set of components. So we click delete and we need to fire Are You Sure? Before this new version, version we were doing that like this so wire click whatever is the method that you want to call in live wire and then on click confirm and event stop immediate propagation to be honest i cannot take credit for that because i googled it myself a few years ago and on forums this is what people were suggesting so this is one of the blog posts and then there's also official live wire forum which basically said the same thing so this is what we were doing before now so what Caleb released is actually two in one thing. First, instead of that on click, we can do just wire confirm. And then the text, are you sure? Like this. Let's actually try it out. We refresh, delete. Yep, it works. So this is one thing that was released much shorter as you can see. But then there was another thing, kind of advanced level, wire confirm dot prompt. What if you want to ask to type some word, for example, are you sure? Type delete to confirm and then the sign of separator and what word is expected, in this case, delete. Now we refresh, delete, and if we type in anything else, the delete doesn't happen. But if we type in delete, then the function works and the record is deleted. And based off that example, you can actually customize the word to whatever you want. Instead of doing type delete, for example, you can do product name here. Product name here. And this is exactly what would be expected. Of course, it's pretty risky if your product name may have symbols like quotes or the separator. So be careful with that. But generally, it works. We refresh and then we click delete and type Lego to confirm. So we type in Lego and then the product is deleted. And this was released in the version 3.0.8, so this is not the latest version. At the time of shooting this video, it's already almost a month since it has been released. Since then, there were a few more releases, 3.09, 3.010, and 3.10. So I will link the page of releases in the description below, and you may check out all the new features. And if you haven't started with Livewire, or if you haven't started with Livewire 3 specifically, on LaravelDaily.com, there's a course Livewire 3 from scratch, so I will link that one in the description below as well. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.